Hello, my beautiful people. I felt like vlogging. I woke up like making a vlog in my mind and I'm like, I should share it with the people. And I guess this vlog is more about like my collaboration with God. In my last post, I wrote, I'm a servant of God and I make music with him. The Lord is good in all things and in all things, the Lord is good. You know, I never really understood like what it was to say, like, give your life to him so he can live through you. And as I continue making like wonderful music, I understand since I have finally surrendered completely to the Lord, submitted myself to him and, you know, telling him like, I want your will, not my will, not my plans, not what I want like if it's your will what I want cool if not I don't even care like whatever you want <sighs> and when you're willing and you surrender completely to him he'll come through especially in your weaknesses and I know for example like I don't know how to sing and like he comes through for me like I recognize that that's my weakness I don't know how to sing and because I recognize it upon him and I tell him, God, you know, through your Holy Spirit, you know, sing through me. And he does and he delivers like. That's what it means. Be willing and he will come through. He's. He will provide his power and his grace through your weakness, you know, but you have to recognize it and you have to humble yourself before him and before people. And as we do music to, together and just beautiful music, not whatever music, like if you pay attention to all my music productions, like how could I have done that by only taking like one class? By my second class, I did Shooting Star. By maybe one or two more other mediocre classes, I've been doing all my beats. And it's like, it's God, it's not me, like... How do I make people understand? And I love it because like that time together, I'm just so grateful. We just wrote a song called True Repentance. And wow, like that beat, like I did it like probably the quickest ever of any beat I've done. I'm a lion, I probably did that beat in five minutes. And um, not me, the Lord threw me again. There's no way I could have done that. And it's so dope. Like, it reminds me of Tupac vibes with Kanye West vibes. Like, it's just incredible. And every single time we would drop a verse, I would be like, God, did you really just make that happen? Like, he just, like, made an amazing verse. And then it's crazy because I always feel like my third verse is the weakest. Like, you know, you start really strong and you go good. And then the last one, I kind of feel like, eh, I died out. But yes, I died out in my own strength but not in God's strength, not when it's God's plan that he wants you to do this kind of music and for the people, you know, to shine the light of the Lord and share the good news of the gospel and to talk about something so important like repentance. Repentance is not just confessing your sins before the Lord. Repentance, true repentance is, you know, confessing your sin. Yes, that's one part, a big part, but the other part is asking the Lord to turn your ways, to turn your ways away from sin to righteousness because when you accept them through faith, you receive the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is your helper. He's your advocate. Advocate, he would help you to change and better yourself and walk a holy and sanctified life little by little growing you and maturing you. So that's what this song is all about. Because right now I just feel and I hear like everybody wants true revival. What does true revival mean? True repentance, turning around, serious Christians that we're not just serious to becoming more like Christ, but we want to share the good news of the gospel, you know, to bring people to the light, to shine the light on those people and be the salt of the earth. Like Freedom Church in Fullerton is asking for a revival. They're doing Daniel fasting and, you know, really praying, asking everybody to pray for a revival. The last live, Pastor John just asked too, without him knowing about this church, he was asking for a true revival to all my Instagrammers. And then yesterday I was listening to Dr. Charles Stanley and he was asking for a true revival to like pray for the world and to get some serious Christians to really be, you know, sharing the good news of the gospel and 
to really be changing their ways to be more like Christ. We we were made in his likeness and his image. So we can build those characteristics. If God said you could do it, if he's saying it, it's because, of course, not in your own strength, but with him, you can do all things, right? Because God makes everything possible. God is the creator of all things and all people. He is the controller of all things and all people. So um, it was put in my heart, and I know that, that it's God, you know? And um, he's doing all this all these miraculous things through me and he could do them through you too you just need to surrender you just need to repent and ask him to turn your ways and ask him to use you and whatever your talents are he's gonna use them for his purpose for his glory but it's gonna be better than your purpose because we're so limited we only know so much our wisdom is nothing the wisdom of the world is nothing compare even to the weakness or you know of God like even that is wiser than our wisdom you know I said it in one of my last proverb videos so I just hope that you get to experience like I'm almost sure you're chasing either love peace or joy everybody's always you know chasing love peace and joy but the true the true love peace and joy comes from God and you're rejecting the one the main source that's gonna give you unconditional love true joy complete joy that's in the book of John and peace unexplainable peace that Jesus left you to guard your heart and your mind so I hope you take those steps to truly repent to turn your ways to ask God and little by little he'll fix your sins trust me it's for your own good it's for your own good. You you think you don't want to give up drinking. You think you don't want to give up, you know, all this sin that you're doing. Trust me, you do. I was a drinker. I know what it is to like party and drink. You do. This is a bigger, better life. So abundant. And it says, seek the Lord, his kingdom and his righteousness. And everything else will be added onto you. Everything else will come in abundance because he is the kingdom. He is all things and all people. So once you have him, the chase stops because you got it already once you have the Lord. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Through faith, believe that God did send him to die for our sins. Repent, forgive yourself, let him forgive you. And let him turn your ways as you receive the Holy Spirit in you. The Spirit of God in you. To help you be better. To be loved. To serve others. All the fruits of the Spirit. To be faithful. To be patient. To be goodness. To be gentleness. To be self-control. To be kindness. All those great things that are just going to fulfill your life experience God once you know and understand the presence of the Lord with you and in you in Jesus name I pray I pray I pray I pray for true revival true revival for all people for all people because Jesus is coming again so I just pray that you think about it you think about it a little bit if you don't have light guess what you have darkness if you don't have the presence of god guess what you have it's reality devil evil wickedness demons spirits that are bad and taking over fear anxiety worry depression stress i absolutely guarantee you any problem you have in life the answer is the absence of god in your life bring the lord into your life and let's see if he doesn't solve all your problems read the word the bible there's so many books people like to read read the bible is the most read book in the world for years and years it's 66 books in one book written by hundreds of people and let me tell you it's the way it's the truth and it's the life and i'm a living testimony i love you guys arriba la vida I could talk about Jesus all day, every day. I love that man. He's a living God, my peeps. He's not just up there. He's here. He's here with me. He holds my hand. And he's in me, talking to me, letting me, and giving me his strength. 
and I could do all things because of his strength and I rejoice every morning every day if it's sunny if it's raining because of him I rejoice in him he's my joy <sighs> I hope you could experience this one day I hope you accept it one day so you can receive him as well and he can do great things in your life because he's a good God he's a good God he wants the best for you he loves you unconditionally trust me trust me trust me Okay, I'm sweating. About to go in the gym. Bye!